Mike Volker and I'm chairman of Green Angel Energy Corporation and what we do is we invest in emerging new technologies by investing in startup entrepreneurs launching new green tech companies. In essence, what we are is a publicly listed angel fund. A lot of people are familiar with angel investing but find it difficult to do unless they have a lot of capital at their, disposable, at their disposal and a lot of time. Because to be successful at angel investing, you've got to invest in a lot of companies and you've got to spread your capital around. What we do at Green Angel Energy is we invest in a portfolio of companies and we work with that portfolio to get good exits and returns. We know that the risks are high when you invest in very young companies, but we also know that the rewards can be phenomenal when you really get involved with one of those exceptional winners. Yes, yeah, so a couple of good examples of companies that we've invested in. Uh, one is called Deepoint Technologies, and what Deepoint has done is basically uh, acquire technology from Ballard. These are the fuel cell membranes, and they've put them into energy recovery ventilators that are used in commercial buildings. And what this means is that a commercial building can save up to as much as 75% in energy costs by not losing as much heat in the winter or wasting as much uh, by cooling in the summer. Another company that we've invested in just recently that we're very excited about is called Matza Innovation. And Matza is a phytochemical extraction company. They take uh, nutrients and cosmeceuticals, pharmaceutical compounds from plant material and they do it without the use of organic solvents. So it's green, it's safe, but more importantly, it's very inexpensive. And they can now extract some compounds which have very, very high gross margins. So we're very excited about that company and it's actually a good example of how we operate. We actually put very little capital in the company, but instead raised money for Matza through our network and in return for that, we get a founder's position, which is good for our investors because it's non-dilutive. So if the company succeeds and pays off, everybody wins. If they don't, we put some time in, but the losses aren't that great. Well, I've been a buyer of the stock. I'm at over 10% now. Uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of my own time and attention over the next couple of years to really build the company into a sizable fund. The idea being that it'll become a resource for entrepreneurs to tap into. Unlike many private funds, we will never have to pay the capital back to our investors. If investors want out, that's why we're public. Now they can trade their shares on the market. But the capital, the earnings from our healthy exits will be reinvested in new companies. So we want to build this to a very sizable portfolio with a substantial asset value and keep growing it. The, the next big event for us is going to be when one of these companies produces an exit. Now we've been involved in these companies for only anywhere from a few days, we did an acquisition just last week, to several years, several being four years. And that's still too short a time frame to get a, a good return. We all know that it takes five or six years for these companies to come to fruition but we've got a couple that are looking very promising and so we should see some really healthy results from those early investments that we've made. Additionally, we've done something very interesting that's I think novel in this business in, in that we're selling 9% notes to investors that are government backed. So this produces a steady cash flow back to investors with minimal risk. So for those investors that like green technology, but don't want to participate through capital gains, they can take a safer approach and we pay them 9% return. And those are starting to come in now and we just launched that a few months ago. Yes, there's quite a few companies here that we're interested in. Um, most of them are at the powerhouse pavilion that we're hosting. Uh, and the reason we brought them out here is because we wanted to learn more about them. 
there are those companies in the pavilion that we've already invested in, but there are also those that we haven't. And a couple of examples of that, there's one company called Kyrama, which is doing some work with novel gas compression technology. So they're able to compress natural gas more efficiently, more effectively at lower cost with patented technology. So that one's very interesting. And then there's another company called HTEC, Hydrogen Technology, that produces hydrogen. And that is another company that we're taking a very close look at.